New at 10, a funding boost for a major reservoir project in Calusa County. The Department of the Interior announced $30 million to help build a reservoir. KTVU's Tom Baker tells us where that project stands and takes us to the future home of what will be called the site's reservoir. When completed, the long proposed $4 billion site's reservoir will hold enough water to feed the needs of 5 million homes a year or a half million acres of farmland. That's enough water to cover every square inch of San Francisco 50 feet deep. Currently, there's a big gap between the supply of water in California and the demand for it. But if you close off this little gap and one just like it, you could easily create one of the largest reservoirs in all of California. This huge, naturally occurring bowl was first identified by the California Department of Water Resources back in the 1950s as a potential reservoir when it was contemplating the rapid growth of California, more than droughts, and not even a thought or inkling about something called climate change. Jerry Brown, no relation to the former governor, says Sites Reservoir would increase Northern California's reservoir water storage capacity by 15 percent, with the water to be shared between the state's biggest water goals. It serves farms, families, fish, and fowl. Those benefits would stretch from the Northern Central Valley in Bay Area all the way to Southern California. Sites would get its water from the Sacramento River, but water would only be taken in the rainy season and only when the water flow is very high, when much of that overflow ends up going out to sea. In essence, it teleports water that comes to us naturally in the wetter periods to the drier times when we need it more. The water would be sent through 180 miles of canals westward to the site's project near Maxwell. All but 12 miles of that already exists, saving enormous costs. With our changing climate, with our uh, drought conditions, uh, extended drought periods, wetter wets, drier dries, I think that the problems are becoming more serious and that that necessitates, you know, putting something like this into place. Once constructed, it would take about five years in drier years to fill it. but. In a super wet year, it could be done in just one winter. Fewer than two dozen people live in what would be the site's reservoir valley, some families here for many generations. While the land can be used for cattle grazing, many ranchers here actually truck their cattle to Oregon to feed on green grass. There's pretty good support from, from those folks that are really giving up a lot in order to make this possible for all the rest of us. The primary opposition to sites is from environmentalists who do not want to see high water flows diminished. Final approval of funding sources, almost 900 million already approved by state voters, another billion from Uncle Sam, and just over two billion from the waiting list of many participating local water agencies, cities, and counties should be finalized by 2024. Actual construction would begin in 2025 and the reservoir would begin operations in 2031. Tom Vacar, KTVU Fox 2 News.